Welcome to Grasses and Classes, brought to you by the Choctahatchee Basin Alliance. We would like to thank Daryl Boudreau with the Northwest Florida Water Management District for the drone footage used in this video. This is Where Oh Where Did Your Grasses Go? Welcome back, explorers! For the past couple of months, we've been having fun with all of you on our Grasses and Classes field trips. Not only did we have fun, but we worked hard to make plant bags to help restore the shoreline of the Choctahatchee Bay. Today, we're going to show you where those grasses ended up. Let's get going. Welcome to one of the largest salt marshes in the Choctahatchee Bay. CBA has been building a living shoreline to help protect this beautiful ecosystem. This project is a mile long and is the largest living shoreline in the Choctahatchee Bay. We used limestone rocks to create these oyster reefs. Limestone is made out of the same materials as oyster shells, so it makes a great surface for oysters to live on. To make the reefs, limestone was loaded onto a barge and carried down the area of shoreline where it would be dropped. CBA crew members would then jump in the water and rearrange the rocks to ensure they were sturdy and stacked high enough to break the water surface. After months and months of hard work, the oyster reefs are complete, but we are far from done. The next stage is to place plant bags of smooth cord grass along the shoreline behind the reefs. We loaded the plant bags that all of you made into our trucks and plant trailer in order to drive them to the water. Just like with the limestone, we had to load the plant bags onto either our boat or a barge. Once when we arrive at our restoration area, we walk the bags to the shoreline and place them where they will now live. The oyster reefs will slow down wave energy, while the smooth cord grass will use its strong root system to hold on to the sand and soil, decreasing erosion. The grasses will continue to grow on their own. Their rhizomes will create more and more plants, expanding the salt marsh. Having smooth cord grass in the intertidal zone of the salt marsh will enhance the water quality as it absorbs and filters pollutants from stormwater runoff. The oyster reefs and smooth cord grass work together to create a habitat for animals. Tons of juvenile fish, crabs, snails, oysters, and many other critters will call this living shoreline their home. Even birds, like this pelican flying along the shoreline, will use this habitat. You have helped CBA create this beautiful living shoreline. This area will now stay healthier and thrive with so much life. We hope you had a great time learning and exploring with us this year. Thank you so much for helping us restore the shorelines in the Choctahatchee Bay. The CBA crew and I want to remind you to keep exploring!